iPad Pro and only device that you will need for your YouTube channel. Let me explain what do I mean by that. So iPad Pro is a very, very powerful device. You probably have heard all about the fuss going about iPad being a new computer, etc, etc. Well, I've been using iPad Pro from the early 2019 for all my YouTube work, like completely all my YouTube work, starting from idea, video recording, video editing, everything is done through my iPad. Only thing that is not done on my iPad is when I actually record some things on my computer and iPad Pro allows you to go from the idea step of the YouTube till the uploading and metadata step of YouTube all from one single device and right now I'm talking about 2018 iPad Pro it also applies to iPad 2020 as well but the difference between 2018 and 2020 iPad Pro is very very minor so if you are thinking about buying an iPad Pro actually I would still suggest you to go with 2018 at least in the year 2020 so in this video I will be going through 12 apps on iPad Pro that I use daily and will be going completely from idea step to the YouTube uploading step and every single thing that I'm going to be talking in this video will allow you to go through the entirety of the YouTube production only through your iPad. I'm really excited about this because I, I'm, I've been wanting to do this video for a really, really long time. So without further ado, let's go with 12 apps for the YouTubers on iPad. Okay, before before we'll start just a few, few short words we're gonna be dividing uh, these 12 apps into five different categories and some of the apps are the native apps that you can actually use on iPad but you probably know about this so just be mindful of that so let's just go so first category is ideas and in this category we have three apps and this category is for cataloging your ideas for your YouTube videos and first app that I'm gonna be talking about first or two apps probably that I'm gonna be talking about are of course native notes app on the iPad which is pretty pretty powerful thing or if you want something a bit more advanced maybe a bit just to quickly throw your ideas on iPad then I would suggest you to go with the drafts drafts is actually pretty pretty powerful very simple note taking app which will allow you to do like very quick recording of your ideas if you have an Apple pencil and if you prefer to write uh, ideas by hand then I highly suggest you to go with notability because it is an amazing app for handwriting users that allow handwriting on iPad. I've been actually using uh, Notability for a really, really long time and I love using it. I still, when I want just thinking and brainstorming ideas, I'm still using Notability. Uh, some people prefer to purchase Good Notes 5, but I don't know, it's just very, very particular choice you can go with any of those and you will not go wrong so in my case i choose notability so if you want more complex idea writing and more catalogization of your and categorization of your uh youtube ideas then i will highly suggest you to go with notion notion is a very powerful app that i've been using for a few months now and very 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 happy with it i'm using it not just for ipad but overall my online business and it is extremely powerful ipad uh, uh, application that's not available just for ipad it's an ipad iphone android and web and Windows application all at the same time. You can just go and download for whatever application you want or just use it, it on a website. Okay, now we drafted our ideas and we are going to the category number two, which is recording. Basically, this is how to record your videos on iPad. And for that reason, I can say like very simple choices, of course, using the native camera app of an iPad. It's obvious choice for obvious reason. And second, which people are usually not using that often is screen recorder, native screen recorder of an iPad very powerful thing very simple thing to use and just allows you to record and every single thing that you see right here has been recorded with a native screen recorder and I highly suggest you to use it very very often let's say that you are using your iPad in conjunction with the computer and probably this app that I'm gonna be talking about right now is an only app that works in a conjunction with the computer let's say that we you want your iPad cameras to record let's say in OBS or you want to use your iPad cameras as webcam or something like that because iPad cameras can be pretty pretty good then I highly suggest you to go with NDI camera app I'm gonna be linking of course everything in the description down below this will allow you to connect your iPad camera wirelessly to your computer and OBS and record it from there and use your computer basically as a monitor for your iPad camera which is very very great thing especially if you're doing a lot of live streams okay now we are there we have video ideas we have recordings and now let's go to the editing and 
this is my favorite part by far by far the best application for video editing on ipad is luma fusion every single video on this channel that has been created since probably november of 2019 or probably even earlier at least for the past six months all videos have been edited on luma fusion on ipad very very powerful app it's actually it's actually pretty pricey it costs 30 dollars but it's worth every single penny and it's extremely powerful editing app if you want anything close to the professional editing app like to the premiere or to the final cut pro luma fusion is there you can just use it without any problem it's not as powerful of course as a full-on desktop apps but guys we're talking about editing on ipad if you are doing this for youtube you are just it's more than enough to do it on luma fusion on ipad if you are if you want to record your voiceovers for example and if you want your voice to be recorded instead of your video i highly suggest you to go with the application called ferrite it's extremely powerful voice application that allows you to record your voice and edit it with effects compressions etc etc one thing is that uh, the application is free but it has a paid option which actually costs 30 dollars and without this 30 dollar option you are limited with an amount of recording even though you could use this application for free without any problem still a 30 dollar option would make it far 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 more powerful if you are using uh, the voiceovers or for example if you are using it for our podcasting etc etc then ferret is a great option if you are just using a minor voiceovers then go with a free option of the ferrite you will be just fine last in a video editing but not least is an application that not a lot of people are talking about and it's extremely extremely weird since i started using my ipad i always wanted to have application like after effects on ipad just to have some very very rudimentary motion graphics and i was not able to find any application until i found it and it is called a light motion very very great app if you want to create a very cool graphics motion graphics etc etc by the way the thing that you see right now my uh, my ipad like tilted and etc etc it has been done on my ipad which is a very very great thing to do and you can like, all the graphics that you see all the text animations etc that et all has been done through a light motion very very powerful app one very big downfall very, very big downside is that the full version of application is subscription based it's i think 28 dollars per year it's not expensive and like majority of the functions that you need will be available in free version as well but you're gonna have to work with the watermark to be fair it's it's not the big deal you can delete the watermark in uh, like in luma fusion with ease it's not a big problem but still one time purchase would be far better again very powerful app for motion graphics i highly highly recommend it to you just use it it will make your videos like a bit more spicier now okay now we have our video edited now let's go to the photo art and graphics so if you want to change the graphics for a youtube channel or if you want to make a thumbnail or if you want to just work with the different photos i have three applications for you unfortunately all of them are paid but they're just extremely great applications first is affinity photo for your youtube thumbnails and the photo editing very very powerful application if you don't know how what to compare it is it is like full version of photoshop on ipad it's extremely powerful and it's as good as photoshop i think the photo actually has a desktop application as well for mac windows and linux and it is exactly same application adapted to ipad on an ipad it's only graphical application that like it's, it's i think it's pixel graphics application if i'm not wrong or raster graphics oh yes yeah it's raster graphic application that is that powerful there is no application powerful than that if you prefer to work with the vector graphics for example if you have want to do logos etc etc just drawing some some things then you can go with an affinity designer it's like kind of like a bonus thing uh, because majority of the things they can do for affinity photo it's the same as affinity designer but affinity designer allows you to work with the vector graphics which is a very very cool thing to do if you prefer affinity designer go with an affinity designer if you prefer with affinity photo of course go with an affinity photo application number three in this category is a bit like bonus one and it is procreate if you have a apple pencil then you can use you can create an amazing thumbnails and amazing graphics right there with the procreate just by drawing it it's extremely extremely good and allows you to have very beautiful graphics plus for example in my case i use procreate if i want to add some finishing touches because because procreate has an amazingly beautiful brushes and amazingly beautiful uh, drawing animations that will allow me to draw a pretty nice strokes around my thumbnails sometimes i don't use it often but sometimes i use it and i'm really thankful that i have it Plus, 
I just use it if I want to draw something or I have some inspiration just to want to put there on my iPad. Okay, last category. Uh, now, category number five is, well, it's not a category itself. It's it's category with only one application and its category is YouTube management and an only application here is YouTube studio app. So what does this allow you? It basically allows you to upload your video and edit your video, etc, etc. Write all the descriptions, uh, answer your comments, see all the analytics. Very great software that allows you to control your YouTube practically in the same amount as from the computer. It's of course a bit dumbed down version of the YouTube studio on a computer, but still pretty powerful, more than enough for you to use majority of your work on your iPad. Again, if you're a YouTuber, you should have a YouTube studio application on your iPad, whether you're using as your main source of uploads and editing or not. Only for the analytics, it's absolutely worth to have it. And yeah, well, it's absolutely free, of course, like any YouTube app. Well, this was all. This was 12 apps on iPad Pro that I actually myself use in order to upload the YouTube videos. The only thing that I don't do to, to not lie to you, I don't record my videos on iPad because I record my videos on my separate camera. What I do use my iPad for is I use my iPad for, for the monitoring that I'm going to show you just right now. As you can see, yeah, you can see it just myself uh, right then and there. I use my iPad as a monitoring device, which is extremely convenient because I don't have a separate monitor and I use it it's right here just like that. Well, I hope this was helpful. I hope this will help you to use your iPad if you have it more efficiently for your YouTube channel. This will be it for today. Thank you for being here with me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'm going to see you in the next one. See ya.